Hi, so I'm going to be using the Suave Professionals Natural Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Leave-In Condition. I'm going to use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Styling Foam Mousse and the Trust Me Between Washes Styling Mousse. And you read the title, I'm doing a comparison of these two mousses on my hair and I will be doing a twist out. Normally I use these mousses for perm rod sets or flexi rod sets, but today I was just like, I'll just do a twist out. So. So on this side, I'm going to be using cream of nature, and I applied the soft professional cream of I mean the soft professionals uh, before I put this so that I had a moisturizing product. My hair is freshly washed, by the way. So. talking to myself my sister is came to my room to start talking to me about I don't remember what but I think about online classes So now on this side, I'm using the Tresemme um, Foaming Mousse.
And of course, I'm starting with the Suave Professionals first. How I got product on this side, I was just trying to go quickly with this, I guess. And I do not like to do my hair on soaking drenching wet hair. I know people say they want to see me do hairstyles on wet hair, but even if I do it on wet hair, it's gonna like still shrink up because my hair shrunk up here and it wasn't like it was still damp. It wasn't like super dry, but it was pretty much dry. Like the front of my hair dries even faster too. So I have high porosity here. But if you saw that video already, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up to see like high porosity and that's one of the characteristics my hair dries super fast but the moisture just comes out it anyway so As you can see, I'm in deep conversation with my sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we're quarantined and we have nothing better to do but do work. And for her, well, for me, work and not that I'm doing much of it, but I am working from home. And for her, she has the actual classes that she has to do Zoom. And I have to do Zoom as well for my job too. But hers is like all day doing Zoom the whole day. So it kind of sucks. But. This is what happened due to coronavirus, so we got to do what we got to do. Okay, and I really sped this up a lot. I, I don't know why it's so fast, but anyway, uh, back to Cream of Nature, and that's what we're doing here, because this video would have been a 30-minute video anyway, so I, I'm trying to figure out why I sped this up so fast. Well, you can see the twists. It look nice and juicy for the most part. Okay, and back to the trust me. All right. I really sped this up super quickly. I'm sorry, I just don't like making super long videos either. If I can, like, unless it's of substance. But I don't know why this sped this one up so fast. They're all in the same speed limit. But hey. Mm. You guys get the gist as well, so that's kind of like, okay, now it's the next day, so I'm using my Talia Wajid oil, like, I don't know why this oil is not finished, it's because I back, use back and forth the oils, this is the cream of nature side, so I will say, you see my hair looks nice in the beginning, but then as I start to, like, after I've taken out and I start unraveling it to, like, make it more fuller and stuff, and no open spaces, that's when I feel like it got a little frizzy, but... 
one thing I know about my hair, like that's why I categorize my hair as 4A, 4B, because in the front of my hair, like it will get frizzy, the curl pattern. Like it also depend is dependent on the hair products I use, because certain hair products I use, like the front is not as frizzy in terms of curl part, my curl pattern. And right now, like my hair is so shrunken, it's not even funny. And I use the banding method, but it was still super shrunken to begin with, so I think that's why. Um, I feel like the curl definition in the back was definitely more better and more better. That's not a word. My sister said incorrect grammar just now. Um, it was definitely better in the back. Uh, and that's why I categorized the back of my hair as 4A because I have more tight curls in the back of my hair versus as the front of hair. So yeah, that's what, that's the greatness of having different curl patterns. Not really, but yeah. So the front wasn't the best. Um, I will say after like I took this all out and I showed you guys, I did some extra fluffing and separating and making it look better on cam off camera, which I didn't show you guys. So it looked way better off camera to me. Um, I think both did a good job, I feel like, of giving me a definition. Yeah, I think both did a good job of giving me definition though. Nothing, not one product curled one side better than the other. They pretty much curled each side the same. I will say it looks like the, I had a little more defined curl for some reason in the front from the cream of nature. Because I don't know if you guys can see, but the side with the trust me is a little flattened, that front twist. So I don't know if it's just not tightening enough, but yeah. But I tried. Like I said, on off camera, it looks so much better. I don't know. Every time I film something, it looks like not the best. But off camera, it looks great. See what I'm saying? Like, this is trust me side. It's already, like, fluffy. And, like, not that much definition. So I don't know what happened there, why it wasn't that defined. But, hey. I'm always missing a twist. Am I the only one that happens to where I miss a twist? Because, yeah. See, the definition is way better on this side, to me at least. But you see I have some frizzy parts. So, yeah. My hair wasn't wet, if you're wondering, because normally you get frizzy parts when your hair is still wet. My hair was completely dry because I had these in. I had left these in for like four days, so. But. I know my hair by now, like the first day is, my hair is like a super shrunken mess and looks like I have no hair. So I just leave it at this point. Come on.